Join me as I challenge myself to see if I can tap into God's divine shield and protect myself from negativity tonight. When we think about safety and protection, we often think of tangible things like locks on our doors, security cameras, or even self-defense classes. But what about spiritual protection? What about the kind of safety that comes from a higher power? This is what I want to talk about today, the concept of God's divine shield and its significance for our personal safety and spiritual well-being. We live in a world where threats and challenges are lurking around every corner. Physically, we face dangers like crime, accidents, and natural disasters. Spiritually, we face attacks from dark forces, negative energies, and even our own self-doubt. These threats can leave us feeling anxious, fearful, and uncertain about the future. But what if we could tap into a power that could shield us from all these negative forces? What if we could have a sense of safety and security that goes beyond the physical realm? Every day, we're bombarded with bad news, toxic social media, and negative self-talk. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and powerless. But the truth is, we're not alone. We have a divine protector who is always with us, always watching over us, and always ready to shield us from harm. This is not just a feel-good sentiment, it's a reality that can be experienced by anyone who seeks it. The question is, how do we tap into this divine shield? How do we access this power that can protect us from harm? This is what I want to explore with you today. From praying for protection to affirming our faith, and from meditation to spiritual practices, we'll dive into the different ways we can invoke God's divine shield in our lives. One of the most powerful ways to invoke God's divine shield is through prayer. When we pray, we're not just talking to ourselves or wishing for things to get better. We're actually communicating with a living, breathing God who hears our cries and responds to our needs. When we pray for protection, we're asking God to intervene on our behalf, to shield us from harm, and to keep us safe. And the amazing thing is, God always answers. Another way to access God's divine shield is through affirmations. When we declare our faith and confidence in God's protection, we're not just speaking empty words. We're actually claiming our right to be safe, to be protected, and to be shielded from harm. We're aligning our minds and hearts with God's truth, and that truth is that we are loved, we are valued, and we are protected. Meditation is another powerful way to tap into God's divine shield. When we quiet our minds, focus on our breath, and connect with our hearts, we open ourselves up to receiving God's guidance and protection. We're not trying to achieve some kind of mystical state, we're simply seeking to be still, to listen, and to receive. I want to share a personal story with you that illustrates the power of relying on God's divine shield in a moment of crisis. A few years ago, I was going through a tough time in my life. I was feeling lost, scared, and uncertain about my future. One night, I felt like I was at rock bottom. I was crying out to God, begging for help, for guidance, and for protection. And in that moment, I felt a sense of peace wash over me. I felt a shield of protection around me, a sense of safety that I had never felt before. It was as if God had wrapped his arms around me and said, You're safe, child. You're mine. I've got you. That experience changed me. It showed me that God's divine shield is real, that it's available to anyone who seeks it, and that it's not just a nice sentiment, it's a life-changing reality. From that day on, I made a conscious decision to tap into God's divine shield every day. I started praying for protection, affirming my faith, and meditating on God's truth. And you know what? My life changed. I felt safer, more confident, and more at peace. So what can we take away from this conversation today? We can take away the knowledge that we're not alone, that we have a divine protector who is always with us, and that we can tap into that protection anytime we want. We can take away the confidence that comes from knowing we're safe, that we're valued, and that we're loved. And we can take away the courage to face our challenges head on, knowing that we're not alone and that we have a shield of protection around us. Thank you for watching this video. If you've had any experiences with God's divine shield, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on spiritual empowerment, and check out my next video on how to overcome fear and anxiety with faith.